If you're looking for one of Cebu's most unique and magical stays, you're in for a treat. The treehouse of Valentine. You've got the river, the forest, that treehouse where you stay at. I almost feel like Frodo Baggins is gonna pop out. Is this the ultimate getaway from Cebu City? Let's take a look. Located in the mountains or just past them, you'll find the Treehouse de Valentine, an upmarket forest getaway, about an hour and a half drive from the city. So we're catching a taxi up to the hotel here. Say hello, Joy and Bever joining me. Of course the girls were an hour and a half late. I really should know Filipino time now. The ride takes you through some beautiful scenery and there's some great stops on the way, including cafes and a number of flower gardens. And if you're with Filipinos, if you miss an Instagrammable stop, you're gonna be in the bad books all day. We checked out a couple of flower gardens. So there's multiple places you can stop on the way to this tree house. This is one of them, Cyril Gardens, the little Amsterdam. It's a place to load up on your Instagram photos, that's for sure. If you've got an itch on your back, it's good for scratching. <sighs> So hi everyone, welcome to Buwakani Alejandra and I am John Clefford Intapa, your tour guide for today. And we are going to explore the paradise of Cebu. And we are now in Balamban, municipality of Balamban. So come and join me. Buwakani Alejandra, we promote majority local flowers, such as this one, this is a Aculeus, or we called it Mayana, and it is herbal actually medicine. If you have wand in your body or any scratch, you can um, smash that one and then the, to, to heal your wounds or anything. We also promote it here hydrangeas, but a smaller version compared to other countries, they, they have the bigger version of hydrangeas. Uh, aside from the sightseeing purposes, we have also restaurant here. We offer um, good foods uh, such as pancit, our special pancit and the suman. So of course we had to try out some of their food. So this is a Pinoy snack. What is, it, what is this called again? Sikwati. It's what we call sikwati. It's a, a chocolate, chocolate it's like, drink. It's like a hot chocolate in English. Yeah. Something that's similar is best. And this sticky rice. Suman. 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 Sticky rice. It's that's, sweet. That's a Tagalog. Tagalog word is suman. But there is a Bisaya word. We call it budbud. Hmm? Budbud. And it's quite sweet, so it makes for a nice snack. Up in the mountains, it can also get quite misty. I've actually had to get out of the taxi here because the road is all muddy. Now they're fixing this road up, so eventually it's going to be sealed and you'll be able to get to the treehouse. But at the moment, we've got to get on these motorbikes. It's only like a little five minute drive though. Locals can fit 10 people on a bike, so a suitcase like mine was easy. You can also organise transport via the hotel directly. So I actually organised a taxi myself because it's going to work out a little bit cheaper. It actually backfired on me, which I'll talk about later on in this video. So eventually we arrived, it was late afternoon with all the stops, so it took about three and a half hours or so. This one is the bigger of the two tree houses. So this is walking up to the entrance of the tree house. So welcome to tree house one. See there's one bed here and in this room is the second one. So on the top floor there were two beds complete with mosquito nets. This is the second bed. So this is the second bedroom with the bed and then you've got a little bit of a balcony that overlooks the river that flows below. It was just so nice to go outside and sit back and you can almost touch the forest from here. This is looking back to the front entrance. To the left was their first bathroom which had a hot and cold water shower with a shower head over the bathtub. And in the bathroom you've got this wood bathtub. Pretty cool. Overall decent bathroom, definitely unique. Now we'll go downstairs, which is an alfresco area. Hi, I'm Rene. Welcome to Treehouse One. So what have we got here? So we've got a kitchenette on this floor. Kitchenette. Yes, kitchen here. With all cooking. With all the things, yeah, yeah. With all the utensils here at the, at the drawer. Here. Everything is provided. Water as well. Water as well, hot and cold. And we have mugs over there and... And wine glasses here. <laughs> if, you have, if you want wine, wine glasses. Wine glasses. Okay. And it also had an oven here. So it has a living area with TV and couch. And to one side is the third bed. And to one side, there's a lovely balcony that overlooks the river. And this is looking back at the other direction. There's definitely plenty of space and large balcony to enjoy the beautiful views. Third bed, yes. And we have a CR here. So we have a second shower. Second there. shower, yeah. You ha what you do is to get this one and pull this one down like this. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then once you're done, 
Is that just cold water? Or cold hot? water. Cold water. Normal water, yeah. The one upstairs is hot water. Hot water upstairs. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Then just push this one up and then put it back here. Go this down. This goes down to the river. Yes. Shall we go? We have lights here. You can put on the lights there. We've got a hammock. Hammock. We have two hammocks here. And uh, spring. Natural spring. Natural spring, yeah. Comes out. OK, so it's very clean water. Very, very clean water. Look at the water. It's very clean. Yeah. And also, you can move around here. You can swim here, up to here only. You can move around here. Very shallow. And also, you can swim over there. A little bigger space for you to swim. It's a lime tree going inside the, the house. house. Yeah, that's why we call it tree house. The spring is cold and refreshing. Sit back with a wine or beer. Where else would you rather be? It's just so picturesque and you can see why it makes for a popular place for Instagram photos. Notice how the waters in the river have turned brown and I'll talk about that in a moment. Just to mention they also have an outdoor barbecue. This place is so relaxing, you just hear the, the sound of the river. Not sure if you can hear the running water but that's going to be so nice to go to sleep with tonight. One issue here is with the mosquitoes so you will need to bring your off and it has been quite a bit of rain around lately, so mosquitoes are around. I'm not sure during the dry season how much of an issue that will be, but definitely you need a mosquito net, which you've got around the beds here. Adios. Hi, hello. What do you think the initial impressions of this, the initial impressions of this tree house? Awesome. <laughs> can be one, can be one with nature. It's so serene, I love it. I imagine listening to the, the river when you go to sleep tonight. Yes. Yeah, can... exactly. That's what we were saying a while ago. That um, we were in the city. I wanted to play the YouTube, the uh, sound, the music, the sound. Oh. You get the sound of the water ad free. Exactly. As far as food, you can pre-order, and that's what we did tonight. So tonight we're having one of these seafood platters, and look at how good that looks. And that's the perfect dinner, all done for you, so you don't have to do anything. And obviously you can cook your own food as well. At night we put up the mosquito nets. And with that we didn't really have any issues with the mosquitoes. Hence the name, the tree house. Got trees growing through the house here. Keep in mind that these both places do not have air con, it's just fan only. It's not particularly hot in Cebu at the moment. With the fans it was okay to sleep at night. The girls are doing the yoga here. Me, I just want to eat breakfast. Breakfast was delivered around 8 a.m. Again, you pre-order before you arrive. The food was okay, but nothing spectacular. Here's the menu and prices. If you want to order, you'll need to pre-order at least two days prior to arriving. So this is the perfect way to spend the morning. Coffee right by the sound of the river and the forest. They do have complimentary coffee in the rooms. And as you can see, the river behind me, the current and the strength has picked up considerably since yesterday. There's been a lot of rain last night. Although it's not flooding, you can just see the brown water has changed from the clear water that it had yesterday. So they're the dangers of being in the, the tropics of the Philippines. There can be flash flooding. Not here flooding, but you know, you can still see the difference. I'm not going in the water because the current is quite strong, as you can see. So this is Treehouse 2. It's only like a less than a two minute walk from Treehouse 1, so that's how close you are. This one's a little bit smaller in size as you'll see inside. So this is a setup when you walk in. So you've got the one bed over there with the mosquito net and then the second bed is just here. That's the main bed setup. With one side they had the mosquito zapper. While this bed doesn't have a mosquito net, these windows are glass. You can see behind the mosquito wire up the top. So as long as you don't keep the doors and windows open, you shouldn't have too much problems with mosquitoes. I found the mosquitoes come here more early in the morning and at night during the day. It's not so much of an issue. It's worth noting it was a little bit hotter in this room compared to Treehouse 1, as the room was more enclosed with the windows. It's also got a smart TV in here and Wi-Fi access. Or if you have streaming, the internet is not too bad in speed. I didn't have any issues watching Discovery Plus, no buffering. I have a downstairs area that you can see. This one is open area. There's a spa and there's a place you can lay right over the river. This is the kitchenette area. There's a microwave. Uh, cooktop and this one doesn't have an oven like at Treehouse 1 but you've got all of the other facilities toaster, pots and pans and there's a water dispenser and a fridge and if you want to spice up your marriage or your love life 
We've got a spa here, right overlooking the river. If that doesn't work for your partner, it's time to get another one. How perfect is that? I mean, it doesn't even have to be romantic either. Just lays back with a glass and just listen to the forest all around you. You can't get better than that. So this is where we get in the mindset of the difference between a foreigner and a Filipino. Well, a foreigner male will be thinking, how many girls can I get into that? A Filipino will be thinking, how am I gonna get the best Instagram photos with this? You've got this outside area where you can sit and chill with a glass of wine. You can lay over here, over the river below. What more could you want? This is just a really special place to stay at. I just love it. Now this one is more open, so mosquitoes may be a problem, but you have these mosquito nets that you can pull over if needed. And they haven't forgotten us old boys as well. Look, a rocking chair. Haven't seen one of them in a long time. There's lots of space in the alfresco area. The girls just loved hanging out over the netting. If you have vertigo, you may want to close your eyes. Treehouse 2 has one bathroom with an outdoor shower. It did have hot and cold water. If you want to access the river, it's down this pathway. And behind me, got a little bit of barbecue. Now bear in mind, when it's wet, these rocks can be quite slippery. If you do want something to drink, they do sell wines at the front. This one is 900, you can bring your own. And then with the Wi-Fi, you can watch a Netflix or something and just chill out. That's the way to enjoy it here. Now, do you find this Asari store just out the front as well? So if you want to buy some little knickknacks, you can buy that at the Asari store just out the front. So cheers, girls. So cheers to that. What a night. This is the dome, their third property that you can stay here. That green thing is actually the pool. They've got an outdoor kitchen and then the dome is where you stay. So this is the outdoor area and kitchen? This is their, I guess this is splash pool. It's, it's quite small, it's just a little triangle here. Looking inside, it looks quite stylish. So there's three beds downstairs and the pool out there. So a total of 10 people can stay in this. The furniture and floorboards gave it a little bit of a European feel to it. So it's actually quite large here. You've got the dining table, the beds, there's two beds downstairs, and then upstairs you've got another couple of beds. Hot shower in here, yeah. the outdoor shower is cold water. Yeah. And the outdoor bathroom here. The outdoor bathroom looked okay as well with a cold water shower. Another thing I should mention, this one has aircon while the other two only have fans. This part of the river yeah. is That's part of there. the dome. You've got a waterfall over there. What's the name of this river? Hingatmunan River. What he said. Yeah. <laughs> so each of these three properties has their own access to a certain part of this river. So you can't go down there for Treehouse One. You have to stay in this area. Okay, ladies, it's our last and final day here. So we're going to wrap it up with the conclusion of what we think about this place. So let's start off with joy. So after staying at Treehouse 1 and 2, which is your preferred stay? Uh, okay, when you come here with your friends or families, maybe you can choose day one. Uh, it's more comfortable and Treehouse bigger. One. Yeah, Treehouse 1. Um, more bigger and it's easy to go down, like to go to the river than the two, but two is nice as well. Like if you come with your partner, um, that's better. So, so a group for Treehouse One and for Treehouse Two, it's better for if it's for two of you. For a roma more romantic, a more romantic time here. Because you've got this, the spa you can see behind. So it's better for two people. Two people, yeah, lovers. For, for me, for, um, for couples, you should go here. Like I prefer, Tree house too. There's a jacuzzi. There's a hammock in the side. But if you are in a bigger community, I think you could go to Tree House One. I I love there also because you have the privilege with the interrupted nature. So it's, and it's good for Instagram photos. Exactly. Wh yeah. Which is better for taking photos? No, both. Both good for taking Instagram photos. There you go. Let's rate this both tree houses out of ten. So. Starting with Treehouse 1. Um, 10. And Treehouse 2? Uh, for me, it's 10 as well. Two 10s. And, and you, Ben? Both. 10. Both. I'll go for 10. They're very generous in their, <laughs> their evaluation of these 
tree houses. So there you go. I'll give mine later. Okay, Bev has backtracked. She's changing her mind now. Let's let's hear what she has to say. She's changed her mind on what she thinks is a better place. No, I think I'd go for treehouse number one. Treehouse number one. But you're also giving them both 10 out of 10. So they're both pretty good. Whether it rains or shine, definitely you will enjoy the place. It regains your strength, mood and energy. Working at the city, everything is fast-paced. But here, you get to reconnect with the nature. And, and, and how long do you think is a good time frame to stay here? Probably two days is enough. Two days is enough? Exactly. If you don't have your own transport here, there's not a lot to do around here. So basically you've just got watching your Netflix or something or just reading a book or just chilling because walking around there's nothing in the vicinity here. So getting back to our taxi, he didn't actually turn up to pick us up and Archie, the builder of the treehouse, just went out of his way to take us back. Such an amazing person, he was just a lifesaver. How good is that? How good is a legend is he? Put stars around his head or a halo around his head, he's really saved us a lot. So what about for me? I think for me, I prefer Treehouse 1. I like the size of that place. Now, the, the cons of the place, there's no air con in either one. If you want an air con, you'll have to go to the dome. Price-wise, I think it's on the higher side, but you are getting something, you know, that you're not going to experience anywhere else in Cebu. So you have to weigh up that and, and getting away to nature like this, can you really put a price on it? Staying here was truly one of my most unique stays that I've had in Cebu. It's a total getaway from the hustle and bustle, the rat race come and relax here, forget about stress for at least a couple of days. I think staying here, two days max would be enough for me. Even one night if I came with a partner, especially in Treehouse 2, that would be a great romantic night and that's all I'd need. And you know, just listen to the sounds of nature and all that. If it's a fantastic place to come. So if you're looking for a great weekend or away, something more unique, romantic, get in touch with nature, I think you should seriously give this one a look. And for those who love the Instagram photos everywhere, there's plenty of opportunities for that perfect shot. To book, you can do it via Airbnb. Prices shown. On screen is the weekday prices and then the higher weekend or holiday rates. And this is Treehouse 2. Again, higher prices on the weekend and holidays. The dome is also available to book on Airbnb. Prices shown. Also with weekday and weekend rates. The tree houses can also be booked via other third party sites like booking.com and Agoda. You can also contact them directly via Facebook. On screen is some more information about the tree houses. You can also find this on Airbnb. Now if you're looking for something more luxurious to do, check out this video on screen now. This is a fantastic resort to stay in Cebu and I highly recommend it. I'll see you there.